What did I say the other day? That we do not pay enough attention to fortified wines? Well, yes, we don't. Hi, everybody. This is Agnesa from No Sediment. And last time we talked about tawny ports. So today, let's talk about ruby ports. I have also made an introductory video on port wines. If you have not watched it yet, make sure you do. Link up here and in the description. In general, red port wines can be grouped in two large categories, ruby and tawny. And while these names refer to the color of the wines, they are usually made in a very different manners. Tawny ports will be aged for quite a long time in wooden barrels, during which the color will become lighter, acquiring brownish or even brick orange tones. Ruby ports, on the other hand, are managed to preserve their deep ruby color and their expressive fresh dark fruit flavors. Yet the greatest of these examples will only reach their true potential after decade spent in bottle. So what are the different styles of ruby ports? Which ones show the greatest aging potential? Which ones can be served straight from the bottle? And which ones should be decanted prior serving? Let's find out! Regular ruby port will not be made from a single vintage, but rather will be blended from several vintages. These wines will usually be aged two to three years in a manner that preserves their fresh, dark fruit flavors. These wines are quite expressive and powerful, with deep inky color and lots of ripe tannins. Ruby port is not made to improve in the bottle. Therefore, enjoy it today with your decadent chocolate cake. Ruby Port Reserve is a step up in the quality hierarchy. These wines can be aged a little longer, but not necessarily. In general, it refers to higher quality wines blended, ending up in better integration of flavors with an otherwise full and rich body. They still should be packed with rich, powerful, fresh, yet still super ripe dark fruit flavors. Late Bottle Vintage, or LBV, is a single vintage port that has been aged longer than would be expected from vintage port, usually four to six years. They will offer way more complexity and concentration, and greatest examples will show specific characteristics of the vintage. Most are bottled, filtered, and ready to drink when they are released. Yet you might find some special bottles that are made in a way that few extra years spent in the bottle will allow them to improve. Vintage ports by many are considered to be the greatest examples of the port wines. These wines will be made from grapes harvested on exceptional vintages from producers' best plots, and they will usually be aged two to three years and bottled shortly after. Because vintage ports are bottled unfiltered, they will throw heavy sediment after aging in bottles. Therefore, it is highly advisable to decant them before you serve them. These are wines that can easily be aged for 10 years, and some are known to require at least 20 years to reach their true potential. Yes, that is right. You can easily forget about these wines in your cellar for decades. In their youth, vintage ports will be rich, dense, and full-bodied with expressive flamboyant fruit. With age, they will lose their ruby color and become more brownish, while also developing chocolate, caramel, and dried fruit flavors. Yum! <music> Lastly come single Quinta vintage ports, which are made in the very same manner as the vintage ports. But they are made from a single estate or Quinta in Portuguese, and often these grapes will be harvested from the best vineyard a producer owns. However, it might also mean that grapes from this vineyard will go into vintage port on the best vintages and made into single Quinta vintage port on other vintages. While I do think that rich glass of port wine is totally enough to end the meal, some will argue that it is a great partner to accompany dense chocolate dishes. I also enjoy aged port wines together with aged blue cheeses. 
this is where one can truly appreciate how opposites complement each other. Those salty, pungent flavors match perfectly with the sweetness and depth offered by port. To explore port wines further, make sure to watch my other video on tonic ports.